What's up guys, Matt the Riff Master here. Today I'm going to be sharing with all of you the first song that I ever, ever wrote. So guys, I thought this would be a cool idea for a video because I was thinking about it lately. Um, I don't know what it was that made me think of it, but it just it just popped into my head. And uh, the first song that I ever, 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 ever wrote as a guitar player. Um, so the story is, I'll give you the quick background story. Uh, I was at college doing music and um, we were all put into a band and came up with this this thing with the with the other guitar player and we put it all together and it was so it was so simple i mean like it was it's just really simple but also i'm going to play play little bits for you just to give you an idea of what it was if i can remember it um exactly um but when you hear it you're probably going to think the exact same thing that i thought as soon as I started playing it and listening to it back a few times, okay? Um, but it was so cool. I mean, it had, obviously, you know, had the guitars, had some cool drums, and it had, like, a nice string section in as well. Nothing too fruity, but it was really cool. It was quite... The string section came from the the other guitarist slash vocalist in the band. Um, it was his little add-on. But, I mean, back then... It, it just worked. It was cool. I probably wouldn't choose to put string sections in anything now, maybe. I don't know. But back then, it was just kind of a thing that happened, and it worked. So it was really cool, and I, w I was pretty proud of it, the way it turned out. Um, we did have it all fully recorded, and I did a solo on it as well. But like I said, it was all fully recorded and everything, but, 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 that was many, many moons ago. And, um... It just doesn't exist anymore. I don't know what happened to it. Um, obviously, we recorded it at college. I remember emailing it to myself so I could listen to it and, and have it. But that's just gone now, um, which is a shame because I'd love to listen back to it and, th and just, just reminisce about the good old days. But yeah, what I'm going to do <laughs> is and give you a good uh, little little kind of idea of, of what it was like. And like I said, when you hear it, you're probably going to think... The exact same thing that I did, and then um, so I'll play it for you, and then, and then we'll talk about it. So I'm just gonna slap on a bit of chorus down here. I'll give you a little shot of the pedal I'm using because it is amazing. Uh, maybe a bit of delay too. We'll see how that sounds. But yeah, goes a little something like this. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> So, <laughs> you can probably grasp as to, <laughs> so that, that obviously that chord progression that I played, um, I was playing it, didn't think nothing of it, I thought, fuck, this sounds cool, I like it, um, and then I totally realised that it's just totally been ripped off from uh, With Arms Wide Open by Creed. And uh, I didn't realise that until I, I sat there and recorded it. And I thought, you know, that sounds very familiar. Um, but yeah, it was it was totally, probably played a little bit differently, but or not, I don't know. Totally ripped off from that. But do you know what? At that point in time, I was just like, yeah, have it. Have it. I'll give it my own little spin. Um, but then, obviously, it had uh, went from that kind of clean, cleany bit. <laughs> the clean cleany bit into like a heavier chorus bit but it literally like I said it was simple it just followed the same 
the same notes, so the heavier pit kind of just went. You know, like, so simple, just so, just, even when I was playing it then, I was just like, I was hearing the, the recorded version in my head, and uh gave me butterflies, Um, but that part, when it was doing that, that bit, that's when there was like a big string section in the background, and the drums were like big and opened up, and it was kind of like, when we had it, uh, we rehearsed it, and we had the string section coming through the PA as well, so it was all like, set up so when it came to that and I'll be honest it gave you chills it gave me chills when I was playing it because it just comes into it and you just hit that first and you're just like yeah and then like the string section and the big drums and it felt good and, and like I said playing it just then took me back to that time that was good good old college days drinking beer playing guitar listening to music being an absolute legend. So now I did mention I did a solo on it. I can't actually remember how that went. But yeah, back in the day, I was a little bit nifty with the old... With the old leady widdly stuff. <laughs> um, so like the solo was just like nothing special either, really, to be honest. Just like now, it's all simple and a bit shit. I think the the bit, the stuff behind the behind the solo, again... I believe, if I remember correctly, was just that. Those chords, still. But I think it was something like, oh, oh mate, come on, what was it? Let's put a bit of delay on. Um, so. Okay, maybe no delay. <laughs> it went somewhere after that. It was like... <laughs> I do not know what I did with that solo at all. You know, I, 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 I'll be honest, fuck that solo, I can't even remember what I did, um, but I think back then it was kind of cool, but now it's not, it was something like that, it's <laughs> what an absolute loser, but, but, um, but, the, but, I'll be honest, it was, uh, the finished product actually turned out really good and I think when I think back to it, the exciting part was and what really got me into recording music and recording music and playing guitar and all that stuff and learning about recording was when I was just sat there trying to record that clean bit and uh, I remember I just kept getting it wrong. I keep flubbing notes, hitting strings wasn't meant to hit but the whole experience of sitting there, recording, doing it again, doing it again, quad tracking to a click track and just everything, that's when I really fell in love with recording. Even though, yes, I obviously did unknowingly completely just pike that chord progression from arms, with Arms Wide Open by Creed, um, I, I don't care. It made me feel good and it made me feel happy because it sounded great and it made me feel good. Okay, so that's what we're gonna leave it with that one. I may have robbed it, but it felt good.
And I think, to be honest, as simple as it was, that heavy chorus part was just so nice to play with the string section. It really was. You could just really just like get into it when it would all build up and then just. Oh, just takes me back every time. Just takes me back. Ha! <laughs> so guys, let me know in the comments below, okay? Below, what's going on? Making some noise here. Below, uh, the first song you ever wrote. Tell me what it was like. Tell me how it made you feel. Tell me, did you unknowingly rob it from somebody else? <laughs> but tell me, I want to know how it made you feel because learning or writing, writing, slash stealing um it felt good you know it was nice and like i said that's what really made me fall in love with recording the process of recording music and recording guitars just it was it was fun it took a long time because back then i was a bit shit but i was actually quite good back then but i was still a bit shit maybe i was nervous because you know you get nervous for the first time this was my first time and i was nervous I was sat there, the pressure was on, the click track was going, the first four count came in, it was like, duh, 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 <laughs> fucked it, um, but it was fun, you know, I enjoyed it, it was exciting, so guys, like I said, let me know about the first song you ever wrote, how it made you feel, what were you, th what were you thinking at the time, where did you draw your inspiration from, or where did you steal that riff from. <laughs> we all do it. It's what guitar players do. So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you are new, hit that subscribe button, all that cool stuff, and comment down below. Give it a thumbs up, and as always, rock out, be awesome, and I will see you very soon. Oh, and by the way, I hope you had a nice Easter. See ya! No, fuck it.